Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, letting you know that I am wearing a shirt. A little while ago, I filmed a drugstore makeup video and asked you guys throughout the video what some of your favorite products were, what some of your recommendations were, and I took some notes. I checked it twice and I ran to the drugstore and also made a few online orders. And today, I am testing some of your drugstore recommendations as well as just some new in things at the drugstore. Thank you so much to everyone who sent in their recommendations. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that there's a lot of excellent product here in our future. So without further ado, my friends, let us zoom you in and let us put your drugstore makeup favorites to the test. We've been talking a lot about primers on my channel and I got a lot of recommendations from you guys and the product I decided to pick up was both equally due to your recommendations and also I've just been seeing it a lot online. So many people have been talking about the NYX Marshmallow Primer. And so this is also marshmallow, not marshmallow. It's the marshmallow with marshmallow root. <laughs> I am actually quite excited to try it. It was 22 Canadian dollars. I made an order on the NYX website. I made an order on well.ca and I also popped into Shoppers, Rexall, and Walmart for all of these finds, by the way. Keeping in mind that geography obviously plays into your product availability. Anyway, I ordered this off the NYX website. It was 22 bucks, which is very high, a very high price point for the drugstore, but it had a lot of promises. It promised 10 skincare benefits. It pretty much promised the moon in terms of the skin, smoothing, pore filling, hydrating, all that good stuff. It was basically like, hello, this marshmallow root does everything for your face. I also bought the sponge to go with it. So I bought the marshmallow sponge and it's literally in the shape of a marshmallow. Oh, it has a heart. I didn't even notice that. How cute. Yeah, and I added water as per the instructions and it did expand, so it was very much like a beauty blender. I do have that on hand just in case because I am wary of this shape. We'll see. Let's start off with the primer. I have no idea how this is gonna pump. Oh, I, I was kind of expecting it to be like a moussey, a moussey pump, a marshmallowy pump. This will do and that honestly makes a lot more sense for all the things it promises. Oh wow, it smells like, it smells, oh my god. It smells like the candy, um, you know, the, the marshmallow strawberries and bananas? It smells like those combined. The marshmallow strawberries, by the way, are one of my favorite candies. Never. Let's push it in. This says you can use it alone or with foundation. Did you see how smooth that just instant? Wow, it really actually fills in your pores. Holy. I'm gonna apply this side with my fingers because that's just normally how I'd apply my primer. And then I'll try the other side with the sponge. But it's blending in very nicely. What a glow too. Crazy. I honestly feel like the sponge is so unnecessary for this. It blended in so easily with the fingers. Look at the difference. With the marshmallow, it's like so much more matte and look at how much more glowy this side is. What on earth? What on earth? Or is it just removing everything off of my face? <laughs> I'm just gonna go over this side. I feel like the sponge is just soaking up the product and that's why it's like looking more matte. We'll just save this for the foundation, okay? I'm not gonna use that. I am gonna go in with another pump of this primer because I am loving what I'm seeing. Wow, the smell is like really strong, but it's not off-putting. It's not a scent that has made me sneeze or made my nose run or anything. <laughs> so I did see visibly an instant smoothness in my skin. It absolutely tackled the pores, especially on this side. I don't know what happened with the little marshmallow sponge, but it's put a very intense layer of glow and what feels like really nice hydration on my skin. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna have to keep you posted and see if I get any breakouts or hives from it. <laughs> I'm curious to see how, how she continues to uh, look on my face. So that's the primer, guys. Let's move on to foundation. I picked up two shades of this new L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. And these are the two I picked up. Uh, they have a bunch of shades of these, but on the particular display that I picked them up <laughs> from in the store, it was like one in every five in a row. So I just picked up the two lightest ones that were on display, which are very different. This one's 1N and this is 3.5W. 
Um, so I think I'm just gonna have to do a little mixologist moment and make my own shade here. So the basis of this is it's made with hyaluronic acid and it has 80% hydrating care to moisturize and beautify your skin with 24 hour hydration. Improve skin quality in two weeks. Whoa! It's a lot of promises here at the drugstore today, my friends. Okay, I'm just gonna take a moment to do a little mixing and see if we can get a good match for my skin tone. Yes. Dare I try the marshmallow sponge again? Sure. It really soaks up a lot of product, this one. Okay, let's apply this foundation. I really, <laughs> I just don't like the shape. I honestly just don't like the shape. I think that the point on your typical beauty sponge is key for getting into the nice odd crevices around the face. It's soaking up a lot of product. I feel like I'm removing the primer as we speak. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and just apply the rest of that. The primer filled in my pores so well. I, I did put a lot of the foundation on, but it does just look so dewy and great. <laughs> what a lovely combo. Honestly, like absolutely nothing wrong. It's glowy, it's a nice natural finish, medium, buildable coverage. That's everything I could possibly ask for in a foundation. Let's go in with a little bit of concealer. I honestly feel like the foundation and the primer did such a good job. I don't want too much concealer, but it's always nice to do a little bit of, a little bit of something, something. And to go with this, I also picked up the True Match Corrector Cream. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was reading the French side. Eye cream in a concealer. This guy right here. Now this is shade one, two, fair. Like this was fair and I'm, it's like so much darker than the foundation. So I don't even know how this is gonna look. But I could use a little bit of help under my eyes. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh, it's like super creamy. I don't wanna like ruin the base with this. I feel like it's gonna make it separate. Do you see what I mean? How it's like super serum-y. If any of you guys have tried it, do you have any favorite ways? I feel like this is something I'd pair more with like a tinted moisturizer, like a really light base, so I don't budge anything. I don't really wanna, I don't really wanna tempt fate here. <laughs> so instead, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Pro Glow concealer. And I'm just putting a little bit more concealer in this area where I have my most zits and redness, and just right there, I have a few more outstanding zits. Oh, you know what, let's just put a little bit on the nose too. It's not like it's really lighter than my base anyway, so we're not doing any highlighting, really. As a matter of fact, it's a lot more yellow. <laughs> we are doing the opposite, people. <laughs> I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist just for a little spritz on the skin, let it soak in. A lot of product comes out when you spray that. So two spritzes will do. And then I'm gonna move into cream contour and bronzing. I got a lot of recommendations from you guys and I actually picked up quite a few products. A lot of you recommended the Physicians Formula Sculpting Bronzers. Their shade range is awful, absolutely awful. These were the two, these two, and that's it, the entire range. Right here. I saw this shade adjuster and I bought it just out of pure curiosity. I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts on the Physicians Formula shade range? Like it's, it's pretty shocking. I also picked up the NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. I mean, I've talked about this recently. You guys know how I feel about face palettes. I literally bought this because I'm trying to find dupes of my things, so I wanna give everything a fair shot when I do my master swatches. <laughs> but I just know that I wouldn't be using the highlights out of here. Um, and then just for the price point, I found that the Wet n Wild contour sticks were just the best price point to find. The shade Light Medium is like super pink looking, peachy pink looking. So I'm actually going to use the shade Medium Tan, this one here today. And I, I'm not gonna use the highlight side. I wish, just, just make the contour. Just give us a contour shade. That's all I want. Wet n Wild has been consistently one of my favorite brands from the drugstore. There's so many products that I love. I actually really love their stick foundation. It's so fabulous. Well.ca was really, really amazing. I've actually only ever ordered food on there before. I'd never gone to their beauty and makeup section and I was really impressed. They have a lot. Another brand that I'd actually never seen in Canada, I had no idea that Well.ca carried it, was Flower Beauty. So I did pick up a few things from Flower Beauty. I had no idea that we could get it anywhere in Canada, so I was really happy to see that. So if you're looking for a great online resource, especially if you don't live anywhere near 
there. A store that carries certain makeup brands like Well.ca was fabulous. Amazon has a ton too, but I find it super unreliable. I'm gonna link a few different places where I shopped in the description box down below for you guys, but was happy to find some really great, great options. Uh, this contour blended out stunningly. Perfect. It's perfect. I have nothing to say but good things about how that looks. It is, for medium tan, that's a very, very light, light shade. That's the only thing I'll say about that. Like I would definitely not consider my skin tone medium tan. I'm really happy with how the base is looking so far. Next up for blush, Burt's Bees came out with a ton, a ton of new cream blushes. These are little cream, color nurture cream blushes. And then these are these squeezy tinted bombs. Hold on, now, now I'm second guessing myself. Is this a lip balm? I thought it was a cream blush. Hold please. JK, they're lip balms, lip balms. I don't know why I saw that and I totally thought it was blush. I thought it was, I thought it was cream blush. Okay, so we're not using those lip balms on our cheeks. Great, let's dive into the cream blushes. So this is guava meringue. This is strawberry cream. I'm gonna start with guava meringue. Ooh, they have a really nice, nice smell. It's a, it's a more, um, it's like a solid cream. Wow. I love that. Are we surprised? <laughs> we should not be shocked at all that I like a cool toned pink blush. <sighs> this is beautiful and very easy to blend out with the fingers too. And it's not too pigmented that I'm looking like a crayon exploded on my cheeks right now, but it's also pigmented enough that it's giving me color. That's really nice. I love how fresh that is. Beautiful, beautiful new launch from Burt's Bees. For highlighter, I'm gonna take the Milani Strobe Light in Sun Glow. I didn't pick up any new highlighters. This was the one I had on hand. Lovely. Powder is necessary at this time, my friends. Even though I feel like the primer has done such a beautiful job. I still do want to set in the product, make sure I don't destroy anything and that there's no future budgery. I picked up two powders from Flower Beauty. This one is the Miracle Matte Universal Finishing Powder. This is the Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. Let's just do one on each side. Let's just Let's just try them and see how they look. I wanna do the Nikki makeup method. I was just mesmerized by how she was applying powder on her most recent Sunday tutorial. She took an eyeshadow brush and she was just so lightly patting it underneath the eye. I was like, wow, I am an aggressive monster when it comes to applying my makeup. Maybe that's why so few things work for me. I use such a heavy, hard hand. <laughs> she was just so lightly dusting this product on with a little eyeshadow brush. I was like, oh, you elegant angel. This reminds me of how the Charlotte Tilbury powder looks. It does have that instant blurring effect. I don't wanna, I don't wanna speak too soon. We can't toss out such assumptions like that so early on, but yeah, it's looking good. Let's try the translucent one. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> okay, this one's mattifying and I can literally feel the difference. I can feel this one like tugging, like it's taking away all my moisture. I feel it. That is so crazy to have it on half my face right now. Okay, so for dry skin, we'll stick with this one. This one is mattifying indeed. I'm just gonna finish what I started though. I like this method. I like, it, it takes a little bit longer. I'm an impatient creature for sure, but I like the really soft patting, really, really soft light patting with the little eyeshadow brush. It lets you be so precise with your powder placement. So I'm excited to play with this light illusion powder. I might have to get one shade lighter. I've got a fake tan on right now, so that's definitely not gonna work once it washes off. <laughs> Let us move on to the brows. I'm super excited for this because so many of you were like, oh my God, NYX, 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 NYX. Hello, they literally came out with the brow glue. First of all, how cute is this tiny little packaging? It is the most itty bitty little spoolie. It reminds me of the Clinique 
bottom lash mascara. That's how tiny this is. Such a cute little squeezy tube. So many of you recommended that as well as these NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pens. Dan was actually just playing with these and he was like, wow, they're so thin, I drew wow. <laughs> On the website, it says specifically to apply this before, set your brows in and then fill with the brow pen. And that's the issue I've been having so much. There's so many brow products where the brow gel, the glue, what have you, is kind of preventing like effective application by it going first. But then if you're applying it after, you're removing all of the hard, precise work you've just done drawing your brow hairs on. So I like that they were like, hey, yeah, set in your brow hairs with this, then fill in what you need with these. So I'm excited to try it. This says it's a non-sticky, transparent formula. No pressure, Nyx, but there's a lot riding on you working right now. We need more drugstore dupes. <laughs> so I'm going to brush this in. Oh. Oh. Do you see how stringy that's being? Do you see the strings of product coming out? Oh. Can you see all of the product there? I can't tell if it's the glue or if it's just product in my brow. Sometimes just smushing with your hand helps. Wow, wow, look at the slick. Uh, we are laminated, we are laminated indeed. Okay, so this is definitely something to try like on a naked face because I feel like there's a lot of product here. I can't tell if it's the product or if it's some of the face products that are already on my face probably the face products that are already on my face but just as a first use look at look at the lamination brow glue indeed we are licked we are slicked i'm excited the prospect of this is exciting let's just paint with the brow pens i picked up blonde and ash brown there's blonde blonde is the lighter and ash brown i'm going to start using ash brown on like the interior of my brow so the nyx website said to use Flicking motions. No spotty dotties. It actually applied. Oh my god. Wow. Go Nyx. The tip of this is so soft and it's not spitting out product. I mean, obviously this is the first time I'm using it. It's fully loaded with pigment, but that's really exciting. A pen that worked! <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to work for, but it worked. Let's try this side. That's what I'm calling them from here on out, by the way. Spotty Dotties, if you watched the video where I was talking about the spitting brow pens, then you'll understand. And now we have a name for it, Spotty Dotties. <laughs> you guys know, you knew what was good. Damn, always got my back, guys. I'm gonna take blonde for the inner parts. Oh, I really had to hold my breath there. Woo, okay. Not my best work in terms of application. It is not my forte drawing hairs. <laughs> However, look at how thin those lines are. Oh my word. I am astounded. Uh, I'm actually so impressed. Okay, I can't speak, I can't breathe while I do this and the camera is focusing on my mirror when I'm holding it up to where I need it to be. So I'm gonna fill in my brows and I'll be back with you after. <laughs> wow, wow, I don't know how this wears throughout the day, but wow, wow these pens. No spotty dotties in sight. I'm so impressed, I'm so stoked. You guys, thank you for recommending those, that was, Wow. Okay, so really quickly for shadow, I didn't have a new shadow product to talk about, so I wanted to dip back into that Revlon Tantrum Caprice, and I'm just gonna do a little muddle of these light shades because I do want to test some liners today. So I just wanna put a little, little something something into the crease, and I was really honestly impressed with these shadows. They blended out so beautifully, these lovely So Fierce palettes, and I know I haven't used any of the crazy fun colors in them, but, this one is lovely for an everyday little light brown offering. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on the lower lash line as well. Now for the fun part. I told you guys I was trying to find a dupe for the brown Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick, and you guys recommended these two. The Flower Beauty Forever Wear Winged Liner, shade Dark and Stormy, and then also the Essence Eyeliner Pen in the shade Brown. This was the most recommended one, the Essence Pen. Okay, so here are the two pen tips here. The Flower Beauty one is a lot more thin and precise looking. The Essence one's a little bit more thick. So because the Essence one is a little bit more thick, I'm gonna use that on my, on my better eye and then I'll use the more precise one on my less precise eye and see how we get along. So I'm going to lean in and see this Essence one. 
Okay, so I wasn't expecting this, but it's more like a like a Sharpie marker. It's actually not flexible, which is kind of nice. You have a little bit more control with that. It did like spit out some product here right on the bottom. I'm just gonna take a little shader brush and just clean that up. Easy, nothing to it. I don't know if you guys can see, it's just like uneven. It's uneven and more product comes on the outside than on the very center in the tip. So that was a little hard to finesse around there, but it didn't like set in and get too sticky right away. So it was really easy to clean up. And Essence is literally the cheapest product that you can find <laughs> at the drugstore. So honestly, considering how hard it is to find like good warm brown pigments at the drugstore, I really like that color. It's a lot warmer than I was expecting. Let's try the Flower Beauty one on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see it as I'm applying it, but this one's definitely like spitting out the product as well. Like the product is coming out of the pen in bursts. Like I wonder how the NYX brow pen would be <laughs> for eyeliner. Oh, as it's drying down, it's turning a lot more warm. Can you see that? It's like so cool toned brown when you apply it. And then it's turning this like red, way more red after. Interesting. As far as application, they were spitting, making some spotty dotties as I applied it, but the same thing happens for me when I use like the Stila or my Kat Von D one. Keeping in mind that those were a little bit older in my collection. I haven't used like a fresh new one in a while, but the color is inconsistent. The color was a lot more like warm than I was expecting it to be for sure. This one's a little bit more cool tone, but as it's drying down, it is getting warmer. So what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on these two? liners for mascara i have two here this is the revlon so fierce and this is the l'oreal oh my god <laughs> i didn't see the brand for a sec the l'oreal bambi eye mascara kind of want to try the bambi eye i feel like i've seen this around oh i've seen this around oh that is a strong scent hold on let's smell the revlon one. Oh, you know what i'm gonna use the revlon one this one's like heavy fragrance i just know that's gonna make my eyes water so let's try the revlon so fierce big bad lash this is that like fluttery volume that i love so much it's not too defined it's not too clumpy it's just so nicely in between look at the difference <laughs> that is beautiful that is a beautiful mascara so for the lips i picked up some of the milani Statement lip liner true instant color. I want to try the color spice 09 spice Ah, this formula is delightful All right guys and finally the last recommended product from you the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss a lot of you recommended this when I was talking about my love for clear lip glosses right now. Oh it smells like an alcoholic fruity beverage that I can't think of at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh my word. I really like this doe foot applicator. I like the shape. This is glorious. And again, fam, you have not led me astray with this gloss. Wow. <laughs> so guys, this was the finished makeup look. I am I don't even know what to say. Honestly, I'm still not over the primer from the start, the foundation, the brow products, mascara. Oh my God, everything was fabulous. Almost, this was terrible, <laughs> but just for dry skin. <laughs> you guys gave me so many amazing product recommendations. I am so happy with how this look turned out and I think there's gonna be some serious favorites from this video. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you thought of some of these products. Let me know what you thought of the final look. And if there are any other products that you think I simply must try out and if there's any videos in general that you want to be seeing from me, please do let me know in the comments down below. If you like these videos, do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Thank you so much as always for watching and I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!